FTC investigating Illinois car dealers, Liberty and Leader Auto, a two-for-one deal. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. As reported by Automotive News, the Federal Trade Commission has demanded auto finance and insurance documents going back to 2018 at Leader Automotive Group and back to 2019 at Liberty Auto City. An investigation that dates back five years. What a treasure trove of evidence. Yes. If any of you needed a confidence boost that the threat of an FTC investigation will get you compliance at the dealership, this is your story. The announcement of this case proves to demonstrate just how much digging the FTC will do when they investigate a dealership and why your threat to file an FTC complaint is a very unsettling idea for any dealer. Right. Imagine having to cough up files that go back five years. Yeah. That has to be one, oh, she ought, situation <laughs> happening in that dealership right now. Neither Liberty Auto City nor Leader Automotive Group have formally been accused of anything by the agency or charged with any crimes, but the FTC has been looking into both for potential FTC Act and Equal Credit Opportunity Act violations since at least last year. There's something to recognize, friends. These things take time. Not accused of anything yet? Yeah. Well, I can guarantee this didn't start on a random inquiry. Somebody got burned by these guys, filed a complaint, and in swoop, the FTC. FTC commissioners in both cases said they were exploring the group's auto sales and lending practices for unfair or deceptive practices or prohibited discrimination, resulting in higher vehicle sales prices, periodic payments, add-on charges, and other harm to consumers. So they have very specific things they're looking <clears throat> for. As I said, this isn't just a courtesy investigation. They were clearly turned on to something very big, most likely by complaining customers. That's something for all of our viewers to keep in mind. Yep. Leader automotive attorney Ira Levin of Burke, Warren, McKay, and Saratella said in a statement Friday, the company does not typically comment on pending legal matters. Of However, not. <laughs> however, we could share that we are working with the FTC to respond to all reasonable requests for information. The company regularly trains its employees on sales processes and performs periodic audits, Levin said. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, wow, that explanation sounds to the uninformed ear like training focusing on doing the right thing. Everyone here at the Homework Guy team knows all about that regular training schedule, how it's conducted in dealerships. Mm -hmm. Most of it is to discuss word tracks to use on how to lie to people and push unsuspecting customers into fees and add-ons that those dealerships are being investigated for right now. Emails left for Liberty's general manager and owner, Joe Massarelli, a National Automobile Dealer Association board member, have not yet been returned. Levin said he was unable to reach Liberty, also a client, about a possible comment. Yes, there's no way they are going to say jack squat right now for fear that it will only make matters worse. Yeah. The Libertyville, Illinois group has been under investigation since at least April 12th, 2022, when the FTC issued a civil investigative demand for records as far back as April 1st, 2019. Commissioner Christine Wilson and other FTC commissioners on June 12, 2022, rejected Liberty's request to drop the agency's record demand or give it more time to produce the documents, establishing a June 22, 2022 deadline for compliance. Boom. So in short, the dealer wanted more time to scramble and cover up their history and delay the misery at the end. Leader, the Chicago-based U.S. subsidiary of Auto Canada, has been under investigation since November 2022. On February 23, 2023, commissioners rejected Leader's request for more time to produce an extensive collection of dealership records demanded by the agency December 27, 2022, including the past two years of deal packets. Records were due March 10. This dealer has to be very paralyzed or nearly shut down at the moment. The funny thing is, is that right now would actually be a good time to go to either one of these two dealerships <laughs> and get a fair and reasonable car deal from them as they tiptoe their way through tons of legal scrutiny. Right. Can you imagine being there buying a car while FTC representatives are roaming the dealership? Seriously. What's funny about this dealer being in Chicago is that one of our loyal viewers, Mr. Sean O'Connell, recently commented on our live stream on 13 ways a car dealer commits fraud, Joe, and he had this to say, Chicago is the home of fraud. Well, you got that right, Sean. More on this juicy story right after this message from Mary Jo. Hello, I'm Mary Jo from the Homework Guide team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy, and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications about coming shows.
Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? The FTC's demands to both dealerships include documents related to customer complaints. Boom. Auto lenders and their share of leaders' loans. Any finance and insurance product or other add-on not provided or installed by the manufacturer in its cost, sale price, bundling, cancelability, mandatory status, and employee compensation. And certain costs relating to preparing a vehicle, such as reconditioning and whether they appear in advertised prices. So much to unpack right there. Oh, yeah. Records from the lenders will be incredibly interesting. And then it started with customer complaints. I knew right from the start that this was a triggered investigation, friends. And look at all the stuff they're investigating. Forced add-ons not installed by the manufacturer. Does this sound familiar to any of you? Yeah. Sale price discrepancies. Bundling an often favorite practice of dealers. Cancelability, mandatory status, and certain costs related to the vehicle, such as reconditioning. Oh boy, the good old reconditioning fee is just another double dip fake fee this dealer will be hanging themselves on. Liberty was required to provide these items for the time period between April 1st, 2019 and whatever present date the dealership group completed the agency's request. Leader received a similar mandate dating back to April 1st, 2018 for these records and an additional FTC order to provide every unique dealership advertisement and every means of obtaining reviews, including any entity paid for reviews. Wow. They're That's even deep. being investigated for bought and paid for reviews, yeah. which is something dealers do a lot of. Just another way dealers cheat car buyers. You see these great reviews and you think those fakes mean others have had a good buying experience there. This just keeps getting better. The FTC also demanded all Liberty deal jackets, retail installment sales contracts, and financial applications on deals with an add-on between April 1st, 2019 and April 1st, 2022. Leader was required to provide this information on all transactions between January 1st, 2021 and the date it completed the FTC's request. Digging into the deal jackets over the last several years oh, and especially boy. focusing on add-ons, I'm predicting one monstrous fine and perhaps more trips to prison coming up for this Chicago dealer. Friends, this story is such a great illustration of how intimidating an FTC complaint is. I'm sitting here just loving it because it's total validation that threats of an FTC complaint work. Liberty has a single dealership property in Illinois, housing franchises for Subaru and Stellantis domestic brands. It sells more than 3,000 vehicles per year. Wow, thousands of deal jackets to look through that date back several years. Leader has eight locations in Illinois with franchises for 16 brands. Wow. And Out of Canada annual report said the U.S. group sold 5,028 new vehicles and 11,451 used vehicles and produced 664 million in revenue in 2022, an average 2,951 per vehicle in F&I gross profit during the fourth quarter. Wow. It's reported that they averaged almost $3,000 in F&I tacked onto the sale price of the car. Wow, sir. No wonder car buyers are getting buried by these dealer finance officers. $3,000 ripped from the pockets of unsuspecting buyers is a ton of bucks and points to a lot of ruthless activity by the finance office. Funny that we've been advising car buyers to file FTC complaints or to simply threaten them with a complaint to get the dealership to drop their unreasonable and illegal demands for fees and add-ons. And then a great story like this one comes along. Perfect timing, huh? If you learned something today and gained new confidence in using the FTC regulations when you're car shopping and you want to make sure you don't miss our future shows, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also connect with us on Facebook. And for more in-depth information, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered right on the website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving a tip at any of the links below. You'll see a super thanks button just below the video, and there are links for making a tip in the description box. You can find them by clicking the read more button seen below. Thank you, everyone. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back, and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Unlike dealerships, the Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.